This is the OTP presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Celebrating 77 years providing Tennesseans with high quality health care coverage at affordable prices. Visit FBHP.com to learn more about the history in Tennessee and to get a quote. That's FBHP.com. With Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. This is Jamal Adams, three-time Pro Bowl safety Jamal Adams, who is now a Tennessee Titan. Yes. Welcome to the Bad MGM studio. Yes, yes, yes. Excited to be here. Okay. I, I, we didn't see this coming. Yeah. This was like the <laughs> quietest free agent signing yeah. maybe ever. I saw mm. Pittsburgh at mm. one point being speculated. I saw several teams being right. speculated. Right. How did this happen? Well, you know, obviously, I kind of wanted to keep it quiet. Um, just the whole process, obviously, it's been a lot. Just uh, the past two years, I, after tearing my quad, um, you know, mentally and physically going through that, that was a lot. Um, and, you know, I just kind of wanted to step away and just kind of handle my business, grind, and keep my head down. And, um, you know, obviously look for the right, the right fit for me. And obviously, you know, uh, just knowing that Denard Wilson, uh, you know, was coming over to the Titans and, and it was going to be the D.C., it was a no-brainer for me. All right, we've got to know about Denard a little bit because yeah. you have played for him before. Right. Tell us why that was so intriguing to you, mm -hmm. why you wanted to work for him again, basically. Well, you know, he drafted me. You know, that goes a long way, right? So he drafted me back when I was 21. I'm 28 now. Uh, you know, time flies, and I'm going into year eight. Um, and this has always been his dream job of what he wanted, he wanted to do. What was his goal? Um, he was always trying to achieve that day in, day out. And um, he's always set the standard. He's had his standard at a high, you know, level. Um, there was nothing that we were going to change his rules, or you know, it's not going to work. You know what I mean? So he's just really competitive, a uh, guy that loves ball, and a guy that you know, he, he he's going to get the best out of you. We've heard a lot about what he's going to bring as a defensive coordinator. Right. You know, because yeah. you played for him, right. 2017 through 2019 with right. the Jets. What is he going to bring as the defensive coordinator? He's going to bring energy. He's going to bring uh, everything out that, that you could imagine. Um, he, he's trying to bring the best out of the player, each player. He's, he's trying to reach everybody because it's, you know, it's one team, one heartbeat, right? So, you know, for him, his philosophy is being a dog, but being smart, being, being, being in a controlled environment, you know, not getting too hype, not getting too low, but staying even keel and, you know, just being, being, being a tactful. That's what it's about. That relationship also must be enticing to you to want to be with a guy that you already know what he's about you know what he's bringing and to be on the ground level of building something new perhaps right right yeah I mean I think that again he's, he's just a guy that's he's going to ask his players to 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 hold a certain standard you know what I mean he's he's not going to waver off of that you know he has a standard that has always worked um it's worked for me and players before me players after me um, he's just that guy that's going to bring it out of you. You mentioned you're an older player now. How are you different Which from... Which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's only 20. Not, Which not is older, crazy. Older Which is than crazy. you were before. Not yeah. older in the grand scheme right, right, of right, life. Right, right, right. We're not here to judge. No, no judgment. <laughs> no, but right, right, as, right. as a veteran player, as mm. a guy that's been around for a while, how different are you than the guy that worked with Denard in New York? Oh, man. Totally different. You really? know what I mean? Um, obviously, I'm older now. You know, a lot of things back in the day that I thought was cool is not cool anymore, or whatever the case may be. It's just the growth of life, right? Just going through trials and tribulations. But um, obviously, just a smarter football player, and, and you know, obviously seeing two different schemes and going through different coaching staffs, uh, just learning different ball and different angles of how everybody coaches in different ways. There's a, not everybody coaches, you know, the exact way or they have their scheme or whatever it might be. But Denard has always stayed the same. His scheme has always been to fit the players. And that's what makes him special. What are the Tennessee Titans going to ask Jamal Adams to do in this defense? Well, you know, hey, I don't know that yet. Okay. I don't know that yet, but I'm, I'm excited to learn my role. Um, you know, for me, man, I just want to come in and earn the respect of my teammates. Uh, you know, keep my head down. I'm not trying to come and cause, you know, ruckus or anything like that. I'm just here to play ball, you know. So uh, with a coach like Denard, I know I'm, I'm, I'm locked in. 
I'm locked in for, for the journey. But you're a name. I mean, I you're, you're a brand yeah. in this league. Yeah. I heard someone refer to you on the radio one day when I was driving. He says, oh, Jamal Adams. He's the Punisher. <laughs> and I said, oh, I like that's that. Pretty, I like that's that. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, if you're yeah. going to do what you do. Absolutely. So is this just a bit of a reset for you at this yeah, moment? Yeah, I, I think it's like a fresh start, you know. Um, obviously, just being at the top of the, the NFL for so long and obviously uh, injury happens and then you go down and you hit rock bottom and then, you know, you're just kind of climbing back up. So for me, it's, it's a restart. Man, I wanted the perfect fit. Um, I, the main thing for me was just about coaching scheme. Who who are the coaches? Who How are they coaching? How are they going to get the best out of their players? Like, that's what it was for me. It wasn't really about money. It wasn't about anything like that. It was more so about Denar Wilson, Jack, Frank Bush, Rand, guys like that, the people in the building. Um, that's what attracted me the most. Why is the people part the most important part? Relationships matter. It, they matter so much in this game of football, right? So uh, for me, just over the years of keeping contact with these guys and talking football and, and seeing their journey of where they're going, coach, coached here, coached here, or where, wherever, you know, head coaching jobs and uh, DC jobs, DB jobs, um, just to see those guys, you know, flourishing and doing what they're doing, um, it's a special thing. And as a player, you know, all I can do is respect it. So a lot of Titans fans may not know the total story. Right. You're in New York for three years. Yes, sir. You're traded to Seattle in a blockbuster trade on July 25th, 2020. Yes, sir. You have this incredible season mm -hmm. with the Seahawks, nine and a half sacks. Yes, sir. Most ever for a safety. Come back and play well again the next year. Yes, sir. First game of 2022, you tear your quad. Yep to the point that you're in a cast for 20 weeks? 20 weeks, you could, you could put it like that, if not a little bit more. Um, you know, that was a time, again, man, it, it just, uh, it brought me down as far as just very humbly, man. Uh, you know, that's, that's not, forget the game of football, that's life situations, right? Not being able to walk, uh, not being able to uh, be, you know, to use the restroom by myself or to shower by myself or whatever the case may be, that was always, uh, you know, tough for me, getting out the bed and, and things like that. Um, you know, missing a year of football definitely took a toll on me, right? And um, I obviously knew I was going to get back out there. It just was going to take a lot of hard work. And um, mentally, I had to heal. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in a way better place now. Uh, you know, I'm just excited for the opportunity. I'm excited for the journey. And, you know, it's just part of the story. As we've talked about how you've evolved over the years, having experienced the highest of highs and the lowest of lows mm -hmm. not only impacts you as a man, but also you as a leader within the group, right? right. That's got to be something that you're going to be bringing to this team right. is the full gamut of life experiences. Right, right, right. How do you think you can impart that on some of the other guys that you're going to be working yeah, with? Yeah, I think... Uh... I think that's what makes it cool, you know, just about getting older, should you say, is like that I can help the, the young generation, you know, under me. Uh, that's what it's about, and, you know, giving them game, giving them anything that I, that I know um, or that I've learned. Uh, that's what it's about. I've never wanted to be, I always told myself when I was younger, I never wanted to be a vet when I get there um, that I just, I, I, I'm too cool or I don't want to give game to the younger guy or whatever the case may be. Um, I always want to be that vet that can, you know, give knowledge to help in any way because that's what it's about. Do you appreciate the game even more now for how you had to fight no back? No question. I mean, last year, no question. you played nine games yeah. in a year that some people wouldn't have even made it back, yeah. Yeah. considering you couldn't walk for six yeah. months. Yeah. So it, it, from the outside, it mm -hmm. would feel like, man, this is, it's got to be fun again. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, going into 2023, obviously after my injury, um, me knowing I wasn't really fully healthy, um, I knew I had to sacrifice and go out there and, and try, try my best. Um, I did what I could, but, uh, you know, eventually that knee is just not going to hold up if it's not ready, right? So for me, just going out there and, and, and competing uh, just to get to where, I'm at, where I am now, uh, man, it's a total, it's a 180. It's a complete 180, man. You've got a new city, yep. new team. You're with the coaching staff that you want to be with. Absolutely. You've got a body that is working well. Absolutely. Is, is this like the peak? Is this it? Is this the time that we're going to see a whole different guy? Man, honestly, you probably, you probably will. You know, I'm just uh, more so just grateful. 
I'm just grateful to be sitting here with you guys. I, at one point, I couldn't even sit down in a chair. Oh. You know, uh, <laughs> it was a long two years. So, you know, I'm just grateful for the opportunity. I'm grateful that the Titans believe in me um, and, and want to bring me in to help this team. This team is phenomenal. Uh, they have a lot of uh, pieces that they're growing, and um, we're going to shock a lot of people this year for sure. SeatGeek is the official ticketing partner of the Tennessee Titans. Whether you're buying or selling tickets to Titans games or any live event in Nashville, SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek, the new official ticketing partner of the Tennessee Titans. So Titans fans can fan. Absolutely. Jamal Adams, what do you know about Nashville? You put me on the spot. I did. Mm -hmm. yes. What do I know about Nashville? Well, I mean, do you, have you had the much Titans? The Titans. Yeah, that's, that's what good. I know. It's a great uh, answer. Have, but have you had much experience here? You're an SEC I have guy. Not. I have not. Um, I never played Tennessee here. Okay. I missed it when I left. I left my junior year. I missed it. Um, I've always wanted to play in that stadium. I did go and watch it. Phenomenal. Atmosphere is crazy. Um, I, I can't say it's better than Death Valley. Well, no. That's just my, you know, opinion. Hey, you know, I mean, that's my you can, opinion. You can have that opinion. You know, I'm not arguing with the Punisher. <laughs> no, yeah, I I'm not arguing no. with the Punisher. No, nah, you're good. You're good. Yeah. But mm -mm. no, I mean, Tennessee's phenomenal. I mean, you know, you obviously, you know, through the history of all the great players that have came through, and um, it's definitely a football, you know, spot. And I, I'm excited to be here. We got to ask him about Arden. Ask him about oh, Arden. That's my guy. You got that's my guy. So yeah. Arden Key, the poor guy has no personality. Yeah, it's there's really just, just you would think. Hard. There's just yeah. nothing he's going quiet. on. He's with quiet. quiet. He's quiet. <laughs> he's quiet. What, what, what's it going to be like to, to reunite with Arden Key? <sighs> Man, one of the best teammates I've ever had. You know, um, one of my one of, one of my favorite teammates I've ever had. Uh, just so much energy. Um, that's him day in day out. It does not change. What you see is what you get. Um, he's a phenomenal football player, and man, I can't wait to tag team him again. It's going to be so much fun. So free agency started with an LSU guy, mm. and right now it's an LSU guy bookending it, although some more will probably come. Yep, Lloyd yep. Cushenberry, the, the yep, center, yep, yep. coming over from Denver, yep. probably missed him at LSU. I missed him, yep, I missed yeah. him. But man, some kind of player too. Phenomenal player, uh, even better person, you know what I mean? So uh, I, know, I know he's excited to be here, uh, new home for him, and – I know all, all, all the LSU boys are excited to click back up for sure. You can, you can bank on that. All right, so your dad, George Adams, yep. who mm -hmm. I remember well as a running back from yes, Kentucky, sir. played with Rand Carthon's dad, Mo yep. Carthon, in the same backfield with the Giants. Small world. Small world. Small world. Really small, small world. world. It's just crazy how it just it comes to where we are now. Um, the fact that Denar Wilson and the crew is here, and then Rand is here, and then he – you know, his, his dad played with my dad, and they have a picture together, you know, at a concert. It's just, it's crazy how it just comes back around, right? And um, I just think that's, that's God. That's just God talking, and, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. All right, so let's wrap up with this. I mean, you, you know what people are going to say. He's only played 10 games the right. last two years. Right. You get that. People may not totally realize the extent of the injury mm -hmm. as to why. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you have something to prove? Are you coming with that chip on the shoulder? You know, I, I, I think it's uh, – um, I've always had a chip on my shoulder oh, yeah. um, for a long, long time. Uh, I think for me it's more so just I'm, – I'm not trying to prove anybody wrong. I'm more so trying to prove myself right. Yeah. Right? And I'm trying to get back out there to prove myself that I'm still that guy and I still can play. Right? And – you know, whether anybody believes in me or not, as long as I believe in myself, that's what matters. And, and for me, as long as I have that positive outlook and I go out there and give it my all, that's all I can ask for. Why have you been such a good blitzer throughout your career? Good question. Why are you so good at that? I think, uh, you know, just through, the, through the, you know, the game of how it is now, like just understanding certain tips and clues of when to get off the rock and, and, and – how to attack blockers and, and things like that. You know, I'm, I'm the type of guy, I'm, I'm down there with the D linemen and I'm, I'm asking questions or I'm going through drills with them. I'm seeing how they're blitzing or whatever their angle is so I can come around them or I can wrap around, whatever the case may be. Um, I think it's just about learning, continuing to learn and uh, finding your niche in the league. And, and for me, that was, that was one of them. Yeah, and, nine and, and a half sacks. That's... Yeah. I can't believe you asked the Punisher how he punishes. <laughs> like, you can't do that. You just have to let it happen. Mike, just let it be. Well, uh, 
I threw him. <laughs> you, you just, you totally threw me. That's right. I got to read one other thing. Hang on. Yeah, you good. Open a Titans checking account with at least $100. You should do this, Jamal. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's and do it. And a reoccurring direct deposit by August 2nd. Will you have been paid by August 2nd? Think he so. might have okay, $100 good. lying I got 100 bucks. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, and got you got could something. receive two tickets <laughs> Oops, to around. five home games. Details at titansbanking.com. Titans checking from Pinnacle. Play hard, bank easy. Member FDIC. Well, a, a wonderful July surprise for us. We're excited to have you here and can't wait to watch you work with Jeffrey Simmons and Harold Landry. Yes. And yes. Uh, a few other Pretty pretty good players. It's gonna be a fun. Yeah, it's fun gonna be really fun. You and I think um, you and Amani Hooker together. It's gonna be fun. That's a that's a real good player. That's a, yeah, absolutely he is. And and it's a reason why he got paid. Yeah, right? that's, that's a reason. That yeah. That's a reason. And you've been paid before. Absolutely. You're absolutely. the highest paid safety in the game. Absolutely, so. absolutely. So I'm excited to team up with all my teammates, man. I've I've did my research. You know what I mean. I've I, I know what I'm coming into and. I know the type of guy, like how Denard is in the staff, and I know what they're preaching, and um, everything is greatness. We're not, we're not, we're not shying away from that. You know, whatever it takes to get to, to greatness, that's what we're gonna, we're gonna do. And you're healthy. I'm healthy. I'm ready, ready to go. go. I'm ready to go. Thank you so much, man. Pleasure, pleasure. Is it pleasure, Jamal pleasure. I know, right? He's sitting <laughs> with here the Tennessee with us. Titans. <laughs> we're floored. We're floored. <laughs> we're excited. Titans fans are gonna be excited to have him as. Rand Carthon continues to add talent in this offseason. We told you he wasn't done. You should Should've listen. Should have listened. <laughs> <laughs> the OT people know. For Amy Wells and Jamal Adams, I'm Mike Keith. Thanks for joining us for the OT people. Welcome to